Hello everyone, it's me again. Um, deci I decided to make another video for all you people who keep asking me questions about how to map your buttons on the SmartJoy frag. So you're going to need the essential things that I mentioned in my first video. And you're going to need this. That comes. This card is your reference card. It comes with your SmartJoy frag. And you're going to need this in order to map the buttons that you want. So starting off, um, let's move on to how I map my buttons. First thing I always do is I make sure I push F11 first. The reason I do that is because according to the card, F11 is um, the blank preset. It has nothing set on the keyboard. So when you push any when you push anything on the keyboard, nothing will happen unless somehow you saved it. And I have trouble saving my presets, but let's just get to mapping the buttons. So let's say I wanted to map X on the keyboard. So what you would do is you would check your quick reference card, look for the button X. According to the card, the default button for X is space. So first thing you do is you hold escape you have to hold it the whole time what you do is you push the default key first in this case we want to push X we want to map X so we push spacebar because that's the default button X then let's map it to another button let's make it B on the keyboard push it once you're still holding the escape key but when you're done you let go now B is X and it just did something on the menu but you can't see it so that's how you map your buttons you do that for every key on the card including your directionals <coughs> um, the thing I need to mention is that if you want to make since it's blank you don't have your directionals at all so I just wanted to throw this out there it's the same step but it might throw some people off you want to hold escape and let's say you want to map up for walk you know to move forward move your character forward you push W which is the default key according to this and then you push W again and then it sets it it did something on the, on the screen so it may be a little tricky but it's not it's really not that hard um... this also applies to your mouse make sure I, I threw that in there. Um, if you want to use a key on your mouse, you hold escape on your keyboard, you hold escape, and you push the default key, let's make it circle. The circle, according to the to the re quick reference card, circle is B. Okay. Don't worry about how earlier I mapped B to be X. Right now, when I'm holding escape, it's going off the defeat default button. So you push B, and then you push whatever button you want on here to correspond to circle. So let's make it first click. See, now circle. So here it is. Um, PlayStation 3 exclusive. Kill Zone 2. Alright, so. Um, as you can see, I've already set the buttons. It's a very tedious task. I haven't really played this game much. I started up my own room, filled it with bots. Uh, right now, kind of liking my sensitivity, but I want to show you how to configure the sensitivity through the Smart Joy Frag and through the game's options. Um, gives you two different ways to find out. You know, you can basically get the sensitivity you want, and you have two different options. So uh, first, I like to start off with the Smart Joy Frag itself. Escape, and then push any of the nu number keys from one to zero. Now it goes from one, it goes from zero to one hundred. So when you push, when you hold Escape and push one, that counts as ten. If you push five, it counts as fifty. So when you push nine, it's ninety. So that's pretty high sensitivity. Um, if you want to go up by single digits, you want to press the 
plus or the minus sign. Plus goes up by one, minus sign goes down by one. And you could use this to make it really sensitive with the smart joy frag, or very low sensitivity with the smart joy frag. Um, I like to keep it low on the smart joy frag, and then mess with the settings on in the game, which I'll show you. So I'm going to set it to 30. And let's see what it looks like when I get into the game. It's probably where it was set at before. And as you can see, it's it's kind of okay, right? So what happens when I, what happens when I make it really? Oh, someone just killed me. Let's make it 60, right? Okay, just made it 60. See what it looks like. It didn't seem to change much, but I mean, there's a noticeable change. Let's go to 10. And sensitivity is really low. Now let's go jump to 70. Huh. It's pretty crazy. So, let's keep it low. This is where I like it. And then you can go into the game's options itself. And you can go to controls. And you can see you can change the sensitivity of the x-axis and the y-axis. It's pretty neat. So you can make it really high or you can make it really low. So let's say if I make it higher for both the X and the Y. Let's see what it looks like. And it makes it a little smoother. I guess every game, it depends on the game. Yeah, that's kind of nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really not that hard. And once you get it, it's, it's pretty nice, especially for us PC gamers, you know. I mean, I'm an ex-PC gamer, because, you know, I can't afford a real PC. That's why I'm doing this in the first place, but, I mean, that's another story. So, yeah, it's really, it's really not that bad. I'll show you some more gameplay, but this is pretty much it. So. If I can find anybody. I think bots are useless. Start a new map because I wasn't finding anyone. So, I mean, the match already started because I was messing with the computer, but I started a new map because that other map was too big and I couldn't find anybody. Hopefully it doesn't end the same way this time. Oh, I thought I saw something. Boom! I just kill one more person. Whoa, did you see that headshot? Talk about lucky. Shit. Shit, I'm out. Yeah, that's it. Guys, enjoy.